All Marshall has done since joining the Sun Belt has been an extremely tough team to beat and an extremely talented team. Charles Huff has done a great job of recruiting and getting those players to elevate their game. Today, we'll take a look at the top 10 players from this year that will make a huge impact for the Thundering Herd's run at a Sun Belt Championship. And the first guy you have to talk about, the return of Rasheen Ali. You look at he had some personal issues off the field, and I really hope that he's doing well with that. And now you get to see him come back to a game in which he was one of the most dominant running backs in college football in the 2021 season. Now he did come back late in the 2022 season, and that was really great to see. I think everybody welcomed that. Now he's hopefully back on track of where he left off in 2021, and that's really exciting. Already has over 1,600 yards in his career and 24 total touchdowns as a redshirt sophomore. I'm really excited to see Rasheen Ali. He is one of my favorite running backs in college football. He's one of my favorite players, and this offense is going to run through him. They lost quite a bit of talent at wide receiver, meaning that running the football will be a priority early on until they get the the things figured out. You also have a semi-new quarterback taking over, who we'll talk about in a little bit. That is going to be something to keep an eye on, but when in doubt, giving the ball to Rasheen Ali is going to be a good option for this offense. Now you flip over the defense and talk about playmakers on that side of the ball. We'll talk about two here. First one being Owen Porter. Had a breakthrough season for the Thunder and Herd defense. 15 tackles for loss last year, nine and a half sacks. He is a menace on the edge, and he's going to be a menace once again. Really good player for this defense. Someone who we knew was going to be a contributor last year, but he took it an even further step. You took another level. You saw that in his game. And you see that with the production. Last year is 15 tackles lost. He has 27 tackles of loss in his career. He is someone who has been a playmaker for this defense. It's just that Marshall's defense, honestly, has been so crowded for so long that it's been tough to stand out. But Owen Porter found a way to do that. Another guy who found a way to do that is Micah Abraham. When you look at, you had a ton of talent in the secondary. Finding ways to stand out and make plays is difficult, unless those guys are so good that they test the other side of the field. And that was the case. Gilmore was so good that Abraham honestly was picked on at times, and he He made other teams pay. You look at last year, a career high six interceptions. He is someone who is now going to return the favor and make his his teammates better because they're going to get tested more because teams know what he can do. And that's going to be tough to throw against Marshall this year because he's returning and he's going to get those other guys up to speed and let them know what is the level that they need to play. Another guy who's going to do that at linebacker joining Owen Porter is Eli Neal, a guy who's played a ton of football for Marshall career, 281 tackles, 22 tackles for loss last year at a decent season at 98 tackles, nine and a half tackles for loss, three sacks. He has been the leader of this defense for a couple of years now, and he's going to step up in an even bigger way. This is a defense that is going to be tough to go against a a unit that's going to create havoc. And Eli Neal is one of those players that will, help in that regard and that's really exciting to have this kind of veteran experience you look at the three guys that we just talked about all seniors this year that means that they are going to get the younger guys up to speed get them where they need to be and help the offense when they're going to take some time potentially to get going now we talked about the wide receivers on the offense and how they need to step up one guy who could have an even bigger year this year is Jaden Harrison now he has already made an impact as a returner. He is a really good returner. Now he gets a chance to do that as a wide receiver. You look at last year, only 12 catches for 95 yards. You're going to see somebody step up in this wide receiver group. And I I think maybe this is potentially too high for him, but the importance of wide receiver is so great that you need someone to step up to be able to make plays. And Jane Harrison can be one of those guys. We know what he can do as a returner. It's a big reason why I like him here. He can be explosive. He can be a dynamic weapon for this offense. It's just a matter of getting in the football and finding some chemistry with the quarterback and within this offense. And another guy that could take that step is Charles Montgomery. Charles Montgomery had a good year for Marshall last year, 36 catches, 402 yards. I really like what he brings to the table and another guy with maybe not the biggest size, but I think he has that explosive ability to be a game changer for this offense and to be able to make a ton of plays for Marshall and Marshall's going to need their offense to step up. The defense can't do everything, although they have quite a bit of talent that's going to make it 
pretty difficult to continue saying that. Sam Burton is another player that's going to help Owen Porter on the edge at defensive end. Solid year last year, seven tackles for loss, five sacks, and he's done it for a couple years now, and Marshall is in good hands with him on the edge opposite of Porter. Now, Porter's going to get a lot of attention, which opens Burton up to a lot of favorable matchups. That's going to be really exciting to see. What does he do with those matchups? Is he able to capitalize on some one-on-one matchups with maybe tackles that aren't ready for him? I think he has decent size. And again, another senior that's going to be added to that mix, to be able to make plays and make life difficult for the defense. The defense is in great hands. I don't have any worries about that. It's the offense that just has to find some chemistry. And one of the biggest things is quarterback. Cam Fancher took over the offense last year and went, I believe it was six and one. And he was pretty good for this offense. Now, 55.5% completion percentage isn't exactly what you'd love to see, but it was at least giving this offense a, a passing attack that was consistent at times. And I think that if he can take a step forward and find chemistry with one of those receivers we mentioned or somebody else, then this offense is in great hands. I don't think that we have to worry about a ton. I don't think that Cam Fancher has to elevate his game to be an absolute superstar. You already have a superstar in Rashina Ali. You just need to open up the offense where teams can't load the box. Teams can't just sit there and force Cam Fancher to try and beat them. You have to show that you are a formidable threat. You have to show that you can be a, a weapon for this offense. And teams will respect both sides of that uh, of the passing and rushing attack. You'll be able to open things up with a pass. You'll find new receivers that can, be, can become reliable playmakers. And Fancher is another one that could also elevate that, this team as well. I mean, this is a team that beat Notre Dame on the road last year. This is not a team lacking in confidence. And Charles Huff has done a great job of getting his staff to bring in phenomenal talent. And there shouldn't be a question about the talent level here. It's just a matter of how does everybody work together? Do they gel well together? Marshall is a good team. They're going to be in good hands. And there's just certain playmakers that have to step up and find their way. And another one of those playmakers, but on the defensive side of the ball, Ty K's legs, defensive tackle, who a lot of people are going to give the edge a lot of attention, and for good reason. But this is a position that could be an X factor on top of maybe safety in the opposite corner, opposite of Micah Abraham. And you're looking at an interior defensive line that is going to feature and going to face a lot of talented offenses in the Sun Belt. This is a conference that has gone phenomenally better in terms of talent, and Marshall is going to face a lot of those teams. All guys like Legs do will probably have a big impact on this season. Now, another linebacker, Marshall honestly might have the best group of linebackers in the Sun Belt. Keyshawn Brown comes in from App State to give them yet another athletic playmaker who can uh, drop back in coverage, cover a lot of space, and that's huge for a defense that's already super talented. Everybody knows Eli Neal. Everybody knows Owen Porter. And now Keyshawn Brown gets added to the mix. I don't have too many concerns about this Marshall team. And the concerns that I do have is just how long does it take them to get acclimated with each other? How long does Fancher need to get the offense to where he needs it to be? And, and Fancher obviously had half a year of experience. You'd like to see a full year, but he's going to be just fine. Charles Huff is doing a great job. And honestly, the, the bigger concern that Ed fans should have for Marshall is if Charles Huff has another good year with Marshall, is he still a head coach in 2024?